3D printing, a wonderful hobby to have. But no matter whether you have a Bamboo Labs, a Prusa, an entry-level Ender, Anycubic, Tronxy, the list goes on and on. You'll always have one problem, and you'll always have crappy prints based on this problem. Moist or wet filament, the bane of all printer enthusiasts everywhere. I live in the Pacific West Coast, and as you can see, our humidity is currently rocking about 63%. As I'm used to living in high humidity, I use filament dryers a lot. Thankfully, Grat Kit sent me over one of their filament dryers to test. Now I have to tell you, this is more than just your standard filament dryer where you put in the filament, it heats up, and then it stops. But we're going to dive into that next, on the corner. Hey everyone, it's me Jeff. Welcome to my corner. This time around, Grackit has been kind enough to send me one of their filament dryer box for testing. I've done a few filament dryer videos before, but this actually has some really cool features that I'm happy to share with you. So without further ado, let's start with unboxing. This was shipped to me through Amazon. It basically comes quickly, simply in this brown box. There's a little bit of packaging on the inside. And right away I can see there's something different about this. It has a spool holder. As I pull the instructions out, I see a microcontrol board and what looks to be a 1550 blower fan, which is really awesome. It's going to circulate the air in here. Let me give you an example. I've got one of these other filament dryers kicking around here. And as you can see, it's just a heating plate. There's no fan, no circulation or anything. On the front, it has a small display. And on the gray kit here, it looks like the display has a lot more functionality to it. Okay, so let's look at the instructions. The manual folds out. It's got a QR code so you can hook up the app. It gives you your basic instructions. But who really reads those anyways? I'm very excited about this because I've heard great things. I'm going to hook it up to my P1P. It also has Wi-Fi, so there's going to be an app involved here. So that's cool as well. As you can see right off the bat, it's got a bunch of different filament presets to it. It's also got a couple that you can set yourself. As you can see, my humidity here is 62. Welcome to Vancouver. It's actually pretty ridiculous out here. So let's just carry on with this. Uh, I'm not really reading the instructions here. I'm just kind of trying to press buttons and figure out what stuff does. I'll read the instructions in a few minutes. But the cool thing about this filament dryer is it actively monitors the filament. So it will adjust the fan speed and the temperature in order to give you the lowest possible humidity. If you look right here, I'm at 62 playing around with it. But, the, but by the time I'm done, if you look at it, it's going to be down to like 9 or 8%. And I think that's incredible. But let's continue to look at other features. You have the instructions right here to set up the app. There's a QR code that you have to do. So let's see if we can get this going. We simply take a picture of the QR code. Watch my overhead lights, my bad. When you want to install the Smart App, and after a minute, you'll be prompted to open it. I'm going to have to sign up for it. I'll put my stuff in there. It will prompt you for your verification code. Once you go set it up, you'll add your device. Once you're there, you'll get it added successfully. And then you have the UI, which is really cool because you can adjust the stuff. You can turn it on or off. You can change the LEDs inside. You can set your temperature to however you want it. So the app functions are really neat. Now, I tried the button functions. It takes a little bit to get used to it, but it works just as well. But the app is just way more convenient. Because of the environment I live in, I tend to keep most of my filaments really dry anyways. But I did find an old roll of MG chemicals that I'm going to try to show you here. So I printed these benchies. And you can see that the first one has some stringing on it. It's got a little bit of moisture in there. 
So I threw the filament in the dryer on the PLA settings and I ran the Benchy again, same G-code and everything. As you can see, it eliminated a lot of the stringing. The dryer does what it's supposed to do. This is just an example of things that you'll fight for though when you're trying to figure out retraction settings for filament. If you don't have dry filament, you're gonna have yourself a heck of a time. So now that I have dry gold filament, what am I gonna print? Well, let me head over to Maker World here for bamboo. Oh, and let's, um, I know, let's go, where is it? Oh, what's more perfect for gold filament than the fertility idol from Raiders of the Lost Ark? So that's what we're gonna do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare the print. We're gonna do the sucker full size, we're gonna print it, and we're gonna do it on the P1P or the P1S conversion that I have. We're just gonna use the generic profile, which is what I used for the Benchies, and we're just gonna do one copy, let's do a time lapse, and we're gonna print. Now it's gonna send the print job to the printer, and we're off to the races. Now, while I'm printing, this is what I wanted to show you, is you leave the filament in here. It's not like you dry it and pull it out and put another roll in and stuff. You can do that, but if you leave it in here, it actively monitors your filament and it adjusts the fan and the heat to get you the lowest possible moisture in here. And as you can see, we're down to about eight or nine. None of my other filament dryers do this. That's just one of the great features of this dryer. And the fact that you have an app to control all this is another great feature from the Grackit filament dryer. You know, this is a really good quality product. I'm gonna keep this attached to my P1P to give me the best chance to have amazing quality prints. So let's have a look at that golden idol. See this? Look at the quality. This thing belongs in a museum. If you have one of these, leave a comment down below and let me know your user experience with you. And if you're cruising through the channel, can do me a favor and just hit that subscribe button or give me a thumbs up. Until next time, guys, keep on printing.